Hey everyone, thank you so much for being so patient. I'm so sorry, it's so hard to get videos up with my work and moving and kids. It's a pain in my butt. But um, I'm here doing Valentine's Day look. I will be doing an eyebrow, eyebrow tutorial very soon. Hopefully not in another month. <laughs> All right, well, let's just jump into it. I'm um, actually I already have my foundation on and my brows. We're gonna be using today will be the Gwen Stefani, and we're using the color 1987. A little access. Just go in. And this brush that I'm using is a bare metals blend, the blender brush. And I just blend this in my crease. Sorry, the babies are in here while I'm filming. I just blend this right in my crease, and I really like this brush. It's so easy to blend. Pookie, you want to come say hi on camera? What? Hurry up, woman. Uh. And she has Diva on, if you're curious. <laughs> say hey. Every time I'm in the bathroom, she's like, Mom, can I watch your makeup? She loves it. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on with the color Punk and just put that all over my lid. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a smaller brush and blend it all out. And to blend it all out, I will be using a Sigma Diffused Crease Brush. And just go ahead lightly in the crease. I'm not getting too heavy with the blending yet. I just want to get it to where I like it so far. And if you lose color, don't worry. You can go ahead and pack that right back on. I'm just going to add a little more of that punk into our lid because it lost a lot of the product when it was blending. It usually goes for like pinks and stuff, but I wanted to go for a more seductive look. I always feel like dark eyes are so seductive. Especially for Valentine's Day, you try to spice it up, look good for your significant other. Sealer, I go ahead and I use my Maybelline Age Rewind, and I love this one for highlighting. Look at this. Look how bright that is, just on camera. Again, with the damn beauty blender, I just tap it out. Done pouncing that out, I grab my Laura Mercier, and I just use my palmy brush, and it's kind of like a sharp pointed brush. Tap and then I take the beauty blender, place it in my hand, tap it out. While I'm looking up, oh, I look down, I look down. And then I take it and I just pounce it in there. And under eye concealer is done. So now we move on to. Studio Fix and this is in the color NC35 and I just tap this all over my face after concealer just to set the concealer and set my foundation. Once that's all tapped out I go ahead and I move on to contour and I'm using the Hula Benefit for contour but I like using this brush for contouring. I don't know what but it just gives me a really straight line and it's been working for me. Of course, we do this cute face. All right, so then I just take one of my, um, I'm sorry, taking my contour brush from Real Techniques, I just go ahead and I contour my Technique Buffing Brush, and that's what I'm going to use for my blush brush. And so I use this. I got this itty bitty Too Faced, and this is in the color Love Flush. Your love is king. This is a long lasting 16 hour blush, so I'm long at work. Just lay it down the cheeks, nothing too crazy. 
Once I'm done with that, I go ahead and I blend it all out. And I'm using a MAC 187 SH brush. Once that's all blended out, I've had a lot of you ask me about this. And I really don't want to talk about it because it's like my own little insecurity. But I have a blood vessel in this area that I've done so much to cover it. I've used concealer, foundation, everything to just cover it. I wish I could get up closer. You could probably see just faintly right in the middle. Sorry, wrong finger. <laughs> but it's just faintly right there. Um, And I just fill it in just because it's something that bugs me. Um, So I just take a brown Maybelline Stiletto Brown um, eyeliner and I just, I just conceal it with this. covers it for me and it doesn't bug me anymore and then I also I do have a beauty mark down here that does get covered with makeup so I just fill it in too so it's not so so it's not so noticeably just one dark mark it's crazy how y'all notice that nobody notices it usually once the concealer is done your shadows done a contour blush I go ahead and I move in with eyeliner but before I do eyeliner, I always do my mascara first. And I, and I start off with, I'm sorry, the Tarte Lights Camera um, Mascara. And this one I like because it does really split my um, eyelashes and it's not so clumpy, which I hate. on I go ahead and I move on to my voluminous excuse me here you're not wanted thank you all right once that mascara is on go ahead and do the bottom liner and I'm just gonna use first I'm gonna start off with 1987 again the same colors I'm putting on my lid that I'm gonna do as my bottom liner Done with the bottom eyeshadow, I move on to eyeliner, and I'm using, of course, my favorite, the Kat Von D, and this is Trooper and her gel liner. I love this one, and also NYX Matte Liquid Liner, another favorite of mine. I start off with my Kat Von D, just because the pen is so precise, it's easy to maneuver. I'm moving on with the NYX Liquid. Now we're moving on to lashes and we're using the 614s. While you let your eyelash glue dry, we can go ahead and move on to our bottom lashes. Bottom lashes are done. Looks like the glue is getting pretty clear, so I can go ahead and curl them and put on my. When you curl your lashes, be very careful not to pull them off. Just slowly remove. Once that's on, we can go ahead and move on to mascara. And I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Once I did that, I can go ahead and move on to highlight. And I'm using the Gerard Cosmetics Audrey. This is like my go-to with the Smashbox. I want to do a um, favorites video too. Let me know what you think. my beauty blender since it is a little damp and still tap into my highlight so it looks more natural not so powdery all 
the makeup is on your face. You're ready to move on and set it all. And I'm setting it with the MAC Prep and Prime, the transparent finishing powder. And I just tap it in where I have a lot of creasage, which is was in this area, which I hate. And once you're done applying your highlight, I'm going to go ahead and move on with MAC Night Moth. Yeah, I did say it correct. And lime on this. Alright. After I'm done lining it, I'm going to go ahead and with this matte fearless from Milani. Bless you. my favorite um drugstore lipsticks all right and when you're done putting on your lipsticks this look is complete thank you so much for watching and hopefully i'll have another video up for you guys very soon